Welcome to this guided meditation on self-belief and self-worth. I believe meditation is the process of focusing your mind. So before we begin, give yourself some time. In your busy day and busy life, can you just step back for a few moments? Find a comfortable place to sit or to lie. Turn off any outside distractions. Make sure you're warm and relaxed. That's good. And before we begin, just for a few moments, become the observer. Observe your physical body. Just slowly scan down at your speed. This is where you live. This is your body. Be in control. If you notice any tension or stress, Take a moment now and see if you can drop your shoulders. If you're holding any muscles tight, just be aware and watch as you control them, they begin to relax quite naturally. Don't rush. Slowly scan down through the body, through the cheeks of your bottom, through your legs. Be happy to shuffle around, reposition. And then just for a few moments, observe your breath. the rhythm of your breath, the depth of your breath. This is a wonderful, simple exercise. Don't do anything, just observe. Observe the subtlety of how your chest rises and falls. If it was a cold morning, how far would your breath leave your body before you draw it back in? Observe simple things. Are you breathing in and out through your mouth, nose, both? Find a way that's comfortable for you, that's right for you. Can you do this just because you're worth it? You're worth being quiet for a few moments and just focusing on yourself. Notice what happens. It may already begin. Your breath sinks, 
slows. You become more aligned, attuned to your body. You might experience some resistance. So don't fight. Just pause and breathe. And be your own teacher. Listen to what your body wants. And find the harmony that's right for you. Could you drop your shoulders more? Could you relax your biceps? Could you let the chair or the bed support you deeper? Could you snuggle right down deep into it? Do you notice that inner rhythm? It's very quiet. settles and if it's okay with you you can relax your eyelids just to help those muscles behind and around your eyes to take a few moments to relax deeper deeper and calmer The muscles down through your cheek and cheekbones, your facial muscles can just relax. No one's watching, no one's judging. Relax your jawline so the teeth are not clenched. But you can breathe easy and calm in your rhythm at your pace. And this is about respecting yourself, listening to yourself, valuing yourself. You can relax down to the point of your chin and wait for all the facial muscles to readjust. Relax your jawline. Because then we can work our way back up simultaneously both sides of your face, looking and relaxing your neck, side of your head, up into your temples, and just pause, and breathe. And observe. Watch yourself. Is this as deep as you want to go? You're in control. We can stop at this level, or we can relax deeper, calmer. Those muscles across your forehead, the ones that get tight when you worry, fearful, anxious. Overthink. As you breathe out, let them go. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. You are your teacher. You are the foundation for you. Relax up and over the top of your head. Particularly those muscles when you get headaches, migraines. Relax them. Don't need tension now. 
down the back of the head and into the large neck muscles. Be aware of those. Just relax them back. Once again, then, that allows you to drop those shoulders, to breathe even deeper. the calmer we are, the more we can clear the confusion. The deeper we breathe, the more we can relax and find a safe place, a calm place. In the middle of any tornado, any difficulty, we have this still place within us. And breathe, relax the rib cage, the hips, the cheeks of your bottom, your legs. Practice going right down into your feet and toes so you're in control. So you're the source of your knowledge of your body. You are the best one to judge you. You're the only one that should know what you are, what you stand for, what your values are, what's important to you. So as you relax, you can focus, you can observe. as though you're looking down on yourself and you can ask yourself important questions. What is value and worth? Is it something that has to be given to me? Is it something that I have to earn? Reflect, observe. Is it something that can be taken away from me from others? Is my value a commodity? Or like a bank account that others deposit or take away from? Where did my beliefs of value and worth come from? Who taught them to me? Was I born with value and worth? Or was I born worthless, valueless, until somebody came along and gave it to me? And these are your beliefs. My belief is you have intrinsic value. A value that is unnegotiable, that cannot be added to or taken away from. No one held you up in the delivery room when you were born and said, quick, someone give this child some value. Value is not a commodity that can be traded. 
Your value doesn't rely on how others treat you, even someone as important as your parents, your family, your teachers or friends. Their importance in your life does not affect your value. Value is not a commodity. It is untouchable outside of you. Your value solely and wholly is your responsibility. So when you doubt yourself, when you criticize yourself, when you compare yourself, and when you're extremely judgmental about yourself, you are the only one that's affecting your value and your worth. So why would you do that? It doesn't make sense. But we do that because of experiences. Real life experiences in our childhood. Experiences that we didn't understand and we couldn't analyze. Experiences come from dysfunctionality that we encountered in our own family, at school, with teachers, with friends. Negative experiences, very poor experiences, dysfunctional experiences. And through those child eyes, we build a story. We say, well, it must be me. There must be a problem with me. Can't be my parents, can it? Can't be my friends, can it? There must be something wrong with me. just not good enough. I can't cope with this. I don't understand why these people aren't acting the way I believe they should act. Perhaps it's because I'm unlovable. Or perhaps it's because they think I have no one. But this is not true. This is an illusion. And these are childlike reasoning to make sense of what's difficult to make sense of when those in important positions in your life are having their own difficulties, their own emotional disturbances. But when you were a child, quite rightly, there is a codependency, there's a need to have the reassurance, to have the validation. And that's why I'm amazed, simply amazed that you got through that. Those were difficult times. How did you manage? How did you come through that position? I do not see you as a victim of that. I actually see you as victorious. There's many ways that you can get through that. Doubt yourself, shut yourself down, make yourself invisible. Hide your head, avoid. But that got you through it. There's no way to, no need to be like that now. 
because that part of your mind that I call the inner child needs you right now to give it the correct teaching, to give it the education, to give it the guidance, to stand up beside that part of your mind that I call the inner child and hold its hand. It desperately needs your reassurance. Desperately needs you to show it the right path. Desperately needs you to show that it has value and worth has never gone away. It's never diminished. It cannot. It needs you to believe in the inner child, believe in yourself, to know that you were born divine, amazing, awesome. Nothing outside of you can damage that. This is who you are. This is your divine spiritual essence. This is your nature. Look how you got through those impossible situations. It's time to change that mindset. It's time to learn those life lessons. It's time to stop comparing yourself, criticizing yourself. It's time to stop being so negatively judgmental about yourself. This is the time right now. This is the education the child needs, the truth. The truth is you are unique. Unique. There is no one in the universe like you. How can you judge yourself against others when they are unique? You can't compare two unique people, things, situations. You are part of the universe, not apart from it. The universal energy of Chi courses through your body, through your mind. This is your value and worth. No one else can take that away or add to it. It cannot be earned, traded. You can't keep it down. That's why, despite all of your negative self-talk, you're still looking for the truth. There's something inside of you that's searching for that change in thinking. The changing thinking is simple. Truth, honesty, integrity. Do you believe that value is like a glass of water that can be given to you or taken away from you? Do you believe that you are codependent on others? That you need others, you need their approval, you need their validation? Do you believe you are a victim? I do not. I do not. What other people think of you is none of your business. because they are unique. They too are going through their journey. They are looking through their filter, their lens, their experiences.
I know as you listen to these words, that part of your mind that I call the inner child will offer a resistance. Because criticizing, self-doubt, comparing, being judgmental is very familiar. It's used to it. In a perverse way, it's comfortable. Blaming yourself, keeping yourself down, making yourself invisible. Hiding your true essence in fear of somebody would criticize you. Being a child knows this isn't correct or right or your flow or being you. But it is known. It is comfortable. So now it's time for you to talk to your child like we're talking now in a calm, relaxed meditation, focus, answering its questions. Treating yourself better than others treated you. Could you do that? Is that too much to ask? To treat yourself better than others treated you. Today, now, not something you have to work at, think about, put on the back burner. Can you, today, tomorrow, next week, treat yourself better than others treated you? Remember how they treated you just reflects them and their thinking and their position. It doesn't define you, it defines them. It's a window into their inner world. It's a window into their emotions. It's a window into where they are in their negativity. It's not a window into your life. They are on their journey. You are on yours. And we can still respect our parents, but we don't have to agree with them. Because if we do, we just pass on like passing the button, passing the negativity, passing the judgmental behavior. We own it as ours. It's not yours. It's theirs. It's time to step away. Step away from the bonds and the handcuffs of self-dependency, of codependency, and become self-sufficient. You don't need approval from others. You need approval of yourself. Value and worth is something you have from the moment you came onto this earth until you leave. It's whether you choose to accept it or you reject it. No one can do that for you. It's time to look within now and take that responsibility. Be accountable to yourself, for yourself. Don't look outside of yourself for this spiritual guidance. Only you can do this for you. You are now the spiritual parent to your spiritual inner child.
treat it with respect, with kindness. Give it the education that it badly needs. Let it look to you. Let it build up a trust in you. Let you nourish it. Come together as a team. Celebrate your own worth. Be your own cheerleader. It's time to stop wasting your energy and wasting your time and going round and round the carousel of despair like a, like a hamster running flat out in the wheel and getting nowhere, just using your energy. It's time to stop this terrible habit of doubting yourself and holding yourself back from your potential. From stopping walking on your path. This is the time, right now. This is the time to stop that old way, that negative way. It's never worked. It cannot work. You cannot look outside of yourself for value or worth. It is not in others' gift to give it to you. You have to look inside. Because that's when you will expand. That's when you will grow. That's when you will flourish. Your life is precious. As everyone else is. We all have value. We all have worth. It is unique. It is individual. It is yours. It is your choice whether you plug into that worth. Whether you step in and take control right now. That is your choice. No one else's. You are awesome. I believe in you. And I believe you will make that choice. A choice that is right for you, for your life. And your journey onwards. So just take a moment now to relax and to focus. This is your body, this is your mind, these are your choices. You are responsible, you are accountable. And when you're ready, I'll just gently count us back. Don't rush. One, two, three. And just connect to that inner strength and that clarity of thought. Three, four, five, Stronger and stronger. Six and seven. And you can open your eyes whenever you want. Come back into your room. Give yourself a good shakedown. That's good. Thank you for sharing this time and this meditation with me. I hope I'll see you again. Until we do, you down, chi down.